The way this works is you find a blank spot in the sky. So right here, for instance, where there's nothing, then you select it with a box. Up here in background references, you set use current selection. You can see all these numbers should now be filled out. Next, we go and we find something that we say this is not background. So this is stuff that we are interested in. So let's say the very bright part of the nebula here. You go down here to the bottom and say use selection. Once again, you notice all those numbers get filled out and you click apply and wabam it tries to color calibrate based on those two areas in some situation the photometric one is more accurate and in other situations i find that this is a better starting point for me to work from i think that often when i have problem with the photometric is if i'm shooting with like i do here with only two filters where i'm doing an hoo stack so i only have hydrogen alpha and oxygen sometimes i think the photometric works better with color cameras than it does with these narrow band images but try you have the tools in your toolbox now so you can use them and see what you like